Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 10, and I went ahead and grabbed our chocolate from the advent calendar. This is actually perfect because it, strawberries kind of make me think of mushrooms in like appearance. But anyway, so this is a strawberry jam filled piece of chocolate, and let me tell you how excited I am. So cute. I love chocolates this size, it's just enough. So speaking of mushrooms, today we are going to do something I have been waiting on doing for a really, really long time. Uh, ever since I thrifted, actually before, so when I was looking for thrifting a cardigan, I had this in mind. I did not know I would come across one that was literally perfect for this, uh, but I did. And then, um, and we'll get into all this stuff later, but I also thrifted the yarn we're about to use and I'm really excited about that too. But we are going to put mushrooms on the sleeves of my cardigan, like this picture here in just a second that I'm gonna show you. Um, that has been an inspiration for a long time. I've really wanted to work mushrooms and things into my wardrobe, but like, you know, classy and cottagey and not, like I like kawaii and I would love to work into some cuter things with, you know, rosy little cheeks and smiles and stuff like that. But I wanted this to be very cottagey, very goblin core at its core. So anyway, um, I drew up a little idea of kind of what I want the mushrooms to look like, the size and the shape, and just kind of which direction I think I'm gonna put a lot of my stitching because this is te technically embroidery, but it's with uh, yarn. So, you know, you have to use a slightly larger needle. So we'll go ahead and get into that. Um, I. I always recommend drawing a little something out. Of course, you need your cardigan. The chunkier I feel like the better, especially if you're using yarn. And then I'm doing three colors because obviously the cap and the stem, but then also the little spots on the cap and um, some variation in the stem as well. And then like the underneath part here. So that's why I have three. And then you're gonna need a threader because I can't thread without one and a large needle that I call a crochet needle. I'm pretty sure that's the actual term. Sometimes these are like blue or purple and come in sets of like different sizes for the, the eye up here. But this is the one that I have and it's basically just big and chunky, but you know, it's not gonna leave some kind of gaping hole or anything. It's gonna go through really easy and smooth. But yeah, that's all you need for this project. Um, the one that I posted before, like the, the inspiration picture, has vines and flowers and all that kind of stuff. And I do plan on adding some other elements at another point, but this is the yarn that I found thrifting and that's why we're gonna use it today. If I come across some green, then maybe I'll do it that way. But uh, you should always look for yarn thrifted. There's always almost every single time I've been in a thrift store, I've come across yarn. And this is probably pretty cheap, inexpensive stuff. It doesn't feel fancy or anything like that, but I'm sure it's gonna work great. Um, but yeah, we'll do a little time lapse of me kind of trying to figure out the first mushroom and then I will show you guys the finished piece at the end. I hope you enjoy.
so there she is. I absolutely love the way it came out, even though I'm obviously not professional. Look at this mess back here. But it's all tied off, and I'm going to tidy it up just a little bit. And I may even get one of those, like, iron patches or something. I don't know. It's nice and soft, and I only wear this cardigan really around the house. Um, it's really oversized, too, so it's not like it's going to, you know, rub my arm funny or anything like that. If you guys have ever done anything like this, I would love to know in the comments below. How did it turn out? Um, any ideas on what I should do different next time besides having a bit more of a plan than this? Um, I think for my first go around, it's pretty good. I will probably be doing a few more of these. Uh, this took 10 times longer than I thought it was going to. I changed my mind a few times. I obviously had to get an embroidery hoop so that I could hold things steady better because it was starting to hurt my wrists. I recommend that extremely. Um, I'd like to put one on either side of both sleeves and then maybe one down here at the base. So um, I'll just do that in my free time sometime and when it's complete I will show you guys. But yeah, this is the left hand side arm. And this always kind of runs up by my elbow and stuff. And so that's gonna be on the end like that. I just think it's absolutely precious. And when I find the right kind of green, I'll probably add some greenery. But I hope you guys like this video. I hope the sunlight changing throughout the time lapse wasn't too bad to watch. But I am getting some new lighting and that should be coming literally in a few days in the mail. So. Fingers crossed for that, but uh, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video, Vlogmas Day 11, and you do not want to miss it. So I will see you guys then. Bye, guys.